Hi friends, here we are proving the side 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 congruence rule. So what does that rule state? It states that if the three sides of one triangle are equal to the three sides of the other triangle, then the two triangles will be congruent. Let A, B, C and P, Q, R be the two triangles in which A, B is equal to P, Q, B, C is equal to Q, R and the side A, C is equal to the side P, R. So we can see that in the triangle A, B, C and the triangle P, Q, R, the three sides of this triangle is equal to the three sides of this triangle. So we need to prove that the triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle P, Q, R. So, what do we do next? We construct an angle RQS such that this angle is equal to the angle ABC and we draw QS equal to AB. Now, let us join R to S. Then, what do we do next? We join P to S. So let's proceed with the proof. Now in this triangle ABC and this triangle SQR, we can see that side AB is equal to side SQ. That is by construction. This angle 2 is equal to the angle 1. That is also by construction. And the side BC is equal to side QR. That was given in the question. Therefore, the two sides of this triangle and the included angle between them is equal to the two sides of this triangle and the included angle between them. Therefore, by the side angle side congruence rule, the triangle ABC will be congruent to the triangle SQR. Now since this triangle ABC is congruent to triangle SQR, therefore all the parts of this triangle will be equal to the corresponding parts of this triangle SQR. Therefore side AC will also be equal to the side SR and the angle A will be equal to angle S. Okay, so this side AC will be equal to this side SR and this entire angle A will be equal to this angle S that is by CPCT corresponding parts of congruent triangles okay so now let's get to this triangle PQS in this triangle the side PQ is equal to side AB and this AB was equal to the side QS Therefore, PQ will also be equal to the side QS. Now, in this triangle PQS, since the side PQ is equal to the side QS, therefore, the angle opposite to the side PQ, that is this angle, let us say angle 3, will be equal to the angle opposite to the side QS, that is angle 4. So, now let's see the triangle PRS. In this triangle, PR was equal to AC that was given in the question and by CPCT we have proved that the side AC is equal to side RS therefore both PR and RS will also be equal. Now in the triangle PRS since the two sides are equal therefore the angles opposite to these two sides will also be equal therefore the angle opposite to this side say angle 5 will be equal to the angle opposite to this side say angle 6 
so now let's take it as equation 1 and take this angle 5 is equal to angle 6 as equation 2 now since this angle 3 is equal to angle 4 and this angle 5 is equal to angle 6 so if we add both these equations what we will get is angle 3 plus 5 is equal to angle 4 plus 6 therefore this entire angle S will be equal to this entire angle P okay and we know that angle A is equal to angle S that has been proved earlier and now this angle S is proved to be equal to angle P angle A is equal to angle S and angle S is equal to angle P therefore angle A is equal to angle P So now let's see the triangle ABC and triangle PQR. The side AB of this triangle is equal to the side PQ of this triangle that was given in the question. The side AC of this triangle is equal to the side PR of this triangle that was also given in the question. And now we have proved that angle A is equal to angle P that is the included angle between these two sides of this triangle is equal to the included angle between these two sides of this triangle therefore by side angle side congruence rule triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR